I'll be honest with you. I've been crying a lot lately. You know, I asked for a thousand likes in my last video, and I knew we were gonna hit a thousand likes. I just didn't think we were gonna hit it in the first 24 hours. Like, do you guys hate me? Do you guys like not want to see me live a good life? Do you guys like enjoy to see me suffer? You guys took that like button, snuck it into a back alley, and beat the living hell out of it. I literally had no time to recover. I I immediately got back on YouTube. Oh, and guess what? It wasn't a thousand likes. So if this is your first time on my YouTube channel, hello, my name is Joel Silver, and I am an emotional wreck. Let me explain to you why I'm such a mess, because honestly, it's really not my fault. I have a really popular series on this channel called The Cringe Zone. It's world famous. If you've never heard of it before, well, now you did. And I made a specific video on The Cringe Zone about Onision. And because I used a couple of his clips that can be found on his YouTube channel for anybody to see for free, YouTube detected a copyright infringement. So they sent it over to Onision, where he gets to review it, and he gets to decide whether I was in fair use, making it legal, or I infringed on his copyright. And keep in mind, I only use little clips here and there, so I made sure that I stayed within the fair use guidelines. But in Onision's opinion, I do violate copyright infringement, so he gets to collect the whole ad revenue off of that video, which also means that Onision lied to Mama YouTube. YouTube entrusted Onision to do the right thing, and he chose to do the wrong thing and lie to them about it. And let's be honest, Onision, my video doesn't violate, and you know that. That video right now is sitting at 10,000 views, and I don't know how much money that is, but let's say $12 at least. So, you know what $12 is, Onision? That is three trips to Wendy's to get a 4 for 4. That's three 4 for 4s, Onision, and I will not let you have three 4 for 4s on my expense. You will rue the day you messed with this Jew. So to compensate for my $12, I've been reviewing Onision's books comments on Amazon. Not his actual books, but what people have left reviews about his book. So I've already done two reviews of his two original books. So this is just a continuation of that. We're gonna be doing the same thing that we've been doing in those two other videos, and that is just giving this man a proper review about his reviews, because you know he took my $12. So let's get right into Reaper's Creek. And just like in the two other videos, I wanna start off with the cover art for this book. The main thing that screams in this cover art is I'm trying way too hard to be edgy, but that just seems to be a theme around all of Onision's projects. Now, the only reason I'm saying that it's trying to be edgy is because Onision constantly has to remind us that he's edgy. He's not just genuinely edgy, right? Because I could have sworn that I've seen this exact same cover in plenty of other places, like a picture of yourself when you were a kid torn apart because that's where everything went bad. Um, I never wrote a book in my life, but I guarantee you that was the thought pattern that Onision went through his head. So when it's forced down your throat, it just comes out bad when you're trying to be edgy. He even cut out a small little piece in his picture with the letter L going through it. Um, maybe that's foreshadowing that Onision is going to be a loser in the future because if anybody else could have seen yourself becoming a loser, wouldn't it be Onision himself? He doesn't have anybody around him. So for him to be this clever at foreseeing his future, that's kind of impressive, actually. He also wrote a whole note, um, and he wrote Onision all over it. So I can't really read the note, and all I can see is that he wrote his YouTube nickname on there, which now that you're like 33, don't you think that the name Onision is really not that cool? Like, you try to be this edgelord metal type of guy, but your nickname is Onision, which doesn't really scream edgy or or like metally. It screams more like a Star Wars, Star Trek type of character. Like I bet you when you introduce yourself and you're not in character, the people when you call yourself Onision, they probably think like, oh, he probably likes geeky stuff like Star Wars. Not that there's anything wrong with liking Star Wars. I'm just saying like your branding doesn't align well with who you are as a person. And <laughs> look at that. Not only did I give you $12, but I'm also giving you really good advice right now for free. I'm like the gift that keeps on giving. Merry Christmas. So now that we got through that torture, let's go ahead and read the summary that can be found in the back of the book. And it goes as, A young boy named Daniel encounters creatures from another world. Oh boy, we're going there, okay. They take him night after night into the black void of their reality till he begins to ask questions. Why was he chosen? What do they want from him? How does he have to be a victim? 
Oh my god, so many things are happening so fast, what's going on? Daniel decides to fight as he wages war on all of those who try to harm him. He finds his own adventures, love, loss, and chaos. This is the life of Daniel. Is this a fantasy or is this a comedy? Because honestly, this is hilarious. Because imagine being like a child, but every night you get kidnapped to go on adventures versus sleeping at night. Like this is your life now, by the way. And like, you're not questioning anything. So I would be pretty heated if these things took me every night. And then I had to, you know, um, fight my own adventures of love, loss, chaos, because this is now my life. So far, out of your three summaries that I read, this has to be the weakest one. Did you even try to put any time into this or like any effort? And I mean, it kind of shows because the book does only have one and a half stars and only 20 ratings. Ooh, Greggy Poo, don't you know this is a bad look compared to your two other books? You know what this says to me? This says to me that this book was so garbage that you didn't even bother to make fake reviews. There's only one five-star review. So, I mean, since we don't got a lot to work with, I guess we can just go ahead and read it. This five-star review was left in 2019, and it was left by somebody named Onesian Subscriber 2010. Nice. Not everyone can say they keep a life journal or actual book about themselves. Just want to say thank you for helping me get through drama in high school. I avoided bad relationships and watch your videos over hanging out with my high school crush. She wanted to change my personality in order for me to be accepted in her social circle. I'm now in college pursuing an engineering degree. Happy to see you're still going. I don't have the time to get all hostile with you. Never asked why and don't care. You're awesome, guy. So we can actually thank Onision because the world needs more engineers and Onision seems to have created one here. The only thing though is that I want to give him like advice on. You might not have any time to get hostile with Onision and you don't care for why you want to be hostile with him, but you do seem to have a lot of time to leave Amazon reviews about a book that is horrible. So I don't know about you, Onision, but um, the only person you're fooling with this comment, because obviously you love this comment, is Jeff Bezos himself. Onision could probably take over the world if he started to realize that like not everyone is stupid. So now the only reviews left on the website are literally one star reviews. All the other 19 reviews about this book gave it one star. So it doesn't matter what review we read next, they all did not enjoy the book. So I hope my $12 were worth it Onision because we're going to get right into these one star reviews. And the first guy, his name is Doom Guy Reviews. And he titled his review, Somebody Wrangled This Wacko Off of Amazon. Ooh, okay. It's really hard to find where to even start with a book that is this bad. It really is, but let's start the review. The book title itself has little to nothing to do with the events in the story. In fact, the Teticular Creek is only used as a backdrop with little, if any, reason to be included within the plot at all. The main character is just a self-insert for the author, which I'm sure we'll have all come to expect nothing less from an egomaniac. But I digress. The protagonist is forgettable, one which already sets the tone for how bad this book is. It seems like Onision wrote the same book three times. Now that's impressive, Onision. Our next review comes from a guy named Miss Mur M Murder. Our next review comes from a person named Miss Murder. And his one star review is titled, That Being Said. <laughs> Onision is a very public YouTuber whose popularity runs the game not from negative to positive. Mostly negative though. That being said, my purpose of reading this book was simply to see what kind of energy and imagination this kid has. The answer is none. None that can be understood anyway. <laughs> I don't understand you either, Onision. Like, you can just let go of the copyright claim and they write me a check for $12, and I'll be out of your hair. But I gotta keep reading these reviews, I guess, so, um... There are many errors in spelling, punctuation, and sentence structure. It takes away the reader's attention to the story. And he insists it's partly autobibliographical yikes. I have dyslexia, so... If you make fun of me, that makes you a bad person. Now, for the story, it is very freaky story coming from a very disorganized mind. When he kept insisting the characters were based on real people in his life, I wearily went through the book again. Oof. The very underage sexual situations are horrible, even more so considering he insists that he actually experienced them. As for the rest of the characters, if they were really in his life, he doesn't do them any favors, as he has attacked readers with negative responses to them because they were real. 
Don't attack your readers, Onision. Matter of fact, don't attack anybody. And give me my $12. It's not just about a kid. It's about a kid who gets blown into the world of science fiction horror mystery. Well, it's like Onision is making his own genre. Not for kids, and a flinch shouldn't read for adults, and definitely not for those looking for an award-winning book. It is what it is. Delusional of a grateful, freshly served up by a very disturbed man-child. Yeah, that's what you are according to this review. The next review comes from a person named Haley, and she titled her once the review Dreadful, and her review goes as, Ripper's Creek is an abomination in the form of pages bound together. The plot is an incoherent war salad that reads as through it was written by a preschool child with poor imagination. Storylines are constantly set up and then properly abandoned for boring scenarios at home and school, and characters' relations are poorly built up and then tossed for no reason. A dead body found in a creek at one point, and Onision talks about it for maybe two paragraphs, and we never hear about it again. Or, if it somehow was, it was lost in unnecessary rambling or I missed it. The characters are poorly written and unrealistic with flat robotic dialogue. Just like Onision's actual videos. What's even more appealing is the explicit sexual scenes between Daniel Gregg, the 11-year-old protagonist, and a 16-year-old named Julia that's seen as a positive and playful. Should I keep reading this? Oh yes, you owe me $12. So yeah, I am. Um, he also refers to a boy in special ed as the special ed kid and offers no other defined features other than the fact that he's disabled and then compares the alien antagonist in the story to said boy who, mind you, meets a very graphic death. I wish I could offer some sort of plot summary for this book, but it is poorly worded and incoherent. I can't even begin to try. If you read Onision's other books, You've read this one. They're all the same nonsense with a different absurd conflict. This book isn't even so bad it's good. It's so bad it's boring. I was genuinely yawning at some points because it was mentally exhausting to read because it takes that much of a mental labor to comprehend what's being said. 0 out of 10. I would rather eject myself into the sun than read this again. I can completely relate to this because making these videos is literally sucking the life out of me. It is so hard to make these videos. Like, out of character. Out of line, Onision, you suck, dude. It's so hard to make these videos, man. But no matter how much it sucks, like, all I want is my $12, bro. Where is my $12? Like, you obviously can write three books, but you can't write me a check for $12? Absurd. So until I get my $12, buddy i I'm gonna keep giving you this public spanking for everybody to see. Matter of fact, I'm nowhere near done making these videos. What, you think that just because you wrote three books and I made three book reviews that I'm done? I'm not gonna be done until you get rid of the copyright claim on that video. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen, if you made it all the way to the end of the video, I want to be the first person to let you know that one of Onision's fans, maybe Onision himself, left me a comment saying, if you're so good at what you do, maybe you should write your own book. So I'm gonna take that Onision's fan's advice, and I will. I will write my own book. I'm actually writing my own book right now. It's gonna be called Mr. Onion Man. And I'm gonna be reading Mr. Onion Man to you guys on this YouTube channel once this video hits 10,000 likes. And I swear to God, if you guys make this video hit 10,000 likes in the first 24 hours, I'm gonna... I'm... I swear, I'm gonna cry some more because... Come on now, man. Let me live my life, bro. Let me live my life. So, Onision, you messed with the wrong person because I swear to God, this is going to be some funny stuff in this book. Once this video hits 10,000 likes, you guys will be able to read this book with me. It's available for free for anybody to read. And, yep, um, 10,000 likes on this video. Oh.